Good morning from Porto, Portugal. Um, it is still raining. It's been raining all night and it's supposed to rain all day today. And um, as far as I can tell, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Just gonna see how it goes and head out in the rain. right now and um, it is still raining I've just had breakfast at a really adorable cafe um, I can say that photographing much less taking film is extremely difficult in the rain and just being sure to keep the camera underneath the umbrella and um, you know <laughs> it's pretty hard but um, I definitely want to explore Puerto I'm so upset that it's raining because um, I mean, I don't mind the rain. I'd be fine with walking around in the rain. It's just that uh, when you put a camera into the equation, that's um, a little different. Porto is the absolute perfect town to walk because it's very tiny, but it has all of the um, kind of everything that you would hope to find in a you know, beautiful European town. It has so much character and history and the streets are absolutely beautiful. It's so small you can even walk over to the next town, which I really want to do, but I don't know with the rain. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and make the best video I can here with uh, the rain. is uh, really picking up. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to be out in this. I've kind of found a shelter from the wind right now, but it's been like blowing my umbrella everywhere. But look at this, I found the most amazing like little maze of a kind of street built out of stone. I guess they couldn't just make a corner. I'm trying to find the way to um, the bridge, which I see right there, but I don't know how to actually get to it. over it. I don't know. It's really windy and um, I'm really afraid for my camera. It's really windy and um, it stopped raining for a second but uh, I don't think that'll last long and I think I have to head back because there's no way I can have the camera out in this weather. Much luck drying their clothes today. All of these um, buildings 
have been just swallowed up by the ivy and that they're now ruined. So breaking news, it has uh, stopped raining outside and um, I'm going to go out for a little more exploring. It is really such a relief to be able to use my camera and not have to worry about the rain. Hello, I am back from exploring at night. Um, it was so nice to go out and see the city um, with the, all the lights and uh, not have to worry about it raining. With my room comes what is really the signature of this city, um, which is port, port wine. Um, I don't really drink. Uh, it's just not something that I particularly like enjoy or not enjoy. It's just kind of something that's whatever to me. Um, so I don't normally drink, but um, this is free and it's here in my room and I'm in the city that's like famous for making it. So I think that I should try it. It is um, Tawny Port, which I had to read up on it. It means that it was aged in a wood barrel for at least two years and that it was made um, in Portugal. This is one of the only times that I'm probably ever going to drink red wine. Oh, it's actually good. It's really sweet. Yeah, really good. Um, so, cheers. Um, it has been a great time in Porto, and uh, I really love the city. It's too bad that it was raining for most of the time, but um, I will... Uh, Move on to my next Portuguese city tomorrow. Bye.